Oh, decent one. What an explosion. Hook right in the mouth, pellet of the mouth. Awesome, awesome fish. So one thing I like about these frogs is the hook pulls out and that just increases my landing ratio. It's much harder for that fish to spit this double hook um, once it's pulled out. And all you do is you just pull it back in like that, pop it out in the front and ready to go. Yeah, I think it's an injured bait fish. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, what a fish. Mm. Mm. In the boat. <laughs> That's it boys, in the mouth. <laughs> what a fish. This is definitely a two kilo plus, or like a 2.2 .2 around there. Definitely one of the fish you want in a tournament. He just actually exploded on that frog. What a fish. Top water frog fishing. So guys, here I have two spray popping frogs. Um, today I've been using the smaller one. The reason why I would choose between the bigger one and the smaller one is two things. It's the size of the bait, which is what's happening here today. I'm trying to imitate the right size of the bait. So I'm going with the smaller baby popping frog. The second time I will always use the smaller one is on highly pressured uh, days or pressured water. The smaller one will definitely get you much more bites than the bigger one. Um, I pro probably have this one tied on 70% of the time because it will catch big bass. I've actually caught more big bass on the smaller one than the bigger one. Maar je moet hem nou dan niet poos. Oeh. Oh, nice one. Had a nice one. that i that i like to do and a lot of people do that is to make this frog walk a little better i just snip about an inch of the skirt off just like that now as i'm popping this frog it will give a sideways motion much better than when you have the two full length skirts um, that helps me especially in this today we have clear water flooded vegetation i'm covering water fast with this i'm Bursting this top water frog, making bubbles and plopping all over the show, and this thing will work erratically side to side. We have very clean water conditions here, it's flooded vegetation all over, um, and very hot water. We're sitting in about 85 to 88 Fahrenheit water. So these fish are very active at the moment. It's also a cloudy day, so I'm, I'm moving this top water uh, frog very quickly. It's a popping frog, but even though it's a popping frog, I'm just moving it erratically pausing it and just covering water as fast as I can around any flooded vegetation here yeah, and finding those bigger key fish figuring out where they are and um, yeah it works well for me so the key of these baby spro frogs is your rod and reel setup and line so what I have here is a 60 pound Sunline FX2 braid 
I've got a 10 gear ratio reel, the Abbey Garcia Rocket. The reason why I have such a fast ratio reel is because when I do cast that bait far out, I might just be working the veget. Oh, 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 and it's a good fish. Hey. There you go. And uh, that was far down the mouth. So as I was saying, I'm using the FX2 Sunline, Sunline FX2 braid. It's 60 pound. Um, the reason why I have 60 pounds and not 30 pounds or 40 pounds or so, because I want to get away with the highest strength of line that I can but still have the cost ability and for me nice fish for me with this baby spot popping frog and a normal uh, dinner uh, frog um, I'll be, I hear both of them I use a 60 pound FX2 braid the reason why I want a fast gear ratio reel is because when I do cast it out there and I might just be working one patch of grass and it might be 40 yards out or so then I quickly want to get the bait back so I can quickly make the next cast. 10 gear ratio reel gets gets that done. Um, there's a lot of benefits of fast gear ratio reels. And um, yeah, I basically use this reel for all my top waters. Next thing on, in the setup is the rod. All my frog, top water frog fishing, moving top water baits, everything. I use a seven foot three medium heavy rod. Um, it's enough backbone and strength to get that fish in it's got a soft enough tip to make accurate cast even when it comes to this lighter baby frog if you don't have the right rod if you have a stiffer rod you won't be able to cast this uh, very accurately but if a 7 foot 3 medium heavy it's got enough tip to make accurate cast with this lighter baby frog and it's just a perfect setup Good. Yes. Good. Okay, well, that was a lack of bass on the baby on the baby spray popping frog. As you can see. Decent keeper, not too bad. Hey, what's up, guys? So, I get exciting news for this year 2021. The Joe's Fay Fishing Online Store is opening up. I've got a lot of good stuff on there apparel, gear, performance shirts, a lot of designs, the latest hoodie. As you can see, that's a 2021 season hoodie for this year. So please support Just Way Fishing as we take it all over the world and support awesome charity organizations like Feed the Hungry and this year's CRC Cares. So that will be awesome if you guys can support and join that. And one last thing guys, I've got an exciting new video series coming out or video vlog I would say. So be sure to follow me on Facebook and join my YouTube channel, subscribe to it. It's called Chasing the Dream from Africa. I show you everything behind the scenes as I go chase the dream in the United States for the Bass Masters. And I'll show you every difficulty you see, everything behind the scenes, some stuff that no one else has seen before. So be sure to look out for that.